Hello everyone and welcome to a plan with me, plan my week with me. I'm hoping you'll enjoy this. I don't think I've done anything like it, but I was totally inspired by my lovely friend, Victoria. She has two channels, Disney in Detail and Victoria in Detail. And over on her second channel, Victoria in Detail, she does these planning videos where she shows you her planner setup and how she organizes her weeks. And I just think it's so interesting. So I thought, I would show you what my first week back at work is gonna look like for the new year. I've got the camera set up here because I'm gonna show you sort of an overview of my planner. But I have got the Simplified Planner. This is actually an American brand and I love them. I've had three now. I used to have, oh, it's put away, but I used to have the daily version, but now I own the weekly one. And I did actually share this on my Instagram stories, but it basically has all of your weeks spread out across two pages. I've been using this for a week already, so I have sort of given it a go just to see how I work best with it. And I can still use my stickers in it because I loved sort of filling the whole page before with stuff, and now I'm working more with the whole week on two pages instead. So I'm trying to get used to it, but I'm gonna show you how I plan out. I will leave a link to this planner below, but I will say now, it's very expensive and a lot of people said to me why would you spend that money on a planner that is very similar to all the others on the market i disagree i don't think there are many other brands that i love as much ideally i would love to design my own planner because there's still things that i would change in this one however it is pretty perfect for now for what i need and want and i'm enjoying having the week spread across because it means i can see if there's a task I didn't complete the day before, I can just still do it if I haven't ticked it off or I can move things around and lay out the week differently. But I don't just use a planner. I also use a lot of digital calendars and uh, list making. So on my computer, I'm not gonna show you, but I do actually have iCal, my iCal calendar on my iMac, which is absolutely covered every single day in something and I have color coded calendars. So I have home, work, podcast. Work and podcast I've separated just so I can clearly see which one is for YouTube stuff and which one's podcast. YouTube videos that are going up, <laughs> Instagram stuff, um, money and invoices that are due, payments that I need to chase, gym and workouts and just when I'm doing a workout, birthdays and then other home appointments and miscellaneous stuff that I do. Um, in my weeks. So I have my work and personal life all in one calendar on my desktop and I love it. it really helps me look at the month ahead. If say somebody asks for a Zoom call on the 20th of January, then I can just shove it straight in here. It will go in there first. And then I've started using Notion, which I love Notion, I'm like a big fan. I started using it end of last year and I've really got to know how to use it and navigate it now. It does take, I think, some time and practice, but I have a monthly setup so january is an overview and i have videos i want to make priorities brand deals invoices that are due um and then i map out each week so i like brain dump anything that needs to get done so the calendar has in my iCal has actual appointments and timestamps and things like that and then notion has the sort of like pay this invoice book this start this schedule this send that whatever and I just brain dump it all into here. But then at the beginning of each week, so I normally do this on a Monday, it's actually a Saturday today, it's just because I'm available to film today, but on a Monday, I'll sit down, I'll look at the brain dump, I'll look at the iCal, and I'll put it all together in here and map out how I want the week to look. It sounds like a lot of planning, it just works well for me. I do also have a calendar on the wall for January, which has the main brand deals I'm working on and when content's going up. And then I have a wall calendar as well, which um, my lovely friend Becky sells. She has a business called Paper Flore. I'll leave it linked below. And I'll leave the calendar from Martha Brooke that I'm using this year linked as well. And the wall calendar has got all the key moments throughout the year that I need to focus on. So like my 10 year anniversary on YouTube and then birthday and anniversary and days for the podcast going up. So that is where we're at. It sounds like it's a lot, but I don't know. I guess over time, it just, you find your... Um, your ways of working so let's get into planning oh another thing i should say is i'm obsessed with stickers obsessed and the only way i figured out how to organize my stickers is using a photo album i bought this from b m and i have quite a lot of sticker sheet books that i've had to pop in the front so i have 
loads of stickers in these booklets which actually are some of my favorites i got these in tk maxx actually this brand love them and then i have honestly so many stickers it's actually quite embarrassing my favorite brands for stickers are my friend Catherine at catnip i bought some as a customer but she has also kind of given me some and then um, pebble and co who are brilliant they are very lovely the girl that owns it very kindly sends me stuff and she does these sort of stickers which i think i'm going to be using today um i've got some for like bin day water bedding change the uh, water bedding water plants change the bedding um and then yeah actually she's got some like dots that i use for stuff on the wall calendar and then let me show you she's got some like this that i use for youtube and podcast stuff so yeah really really nice stickers i love them oh and then my friend victoria who i've linked she gave me some for christmas from a company called but first plan designs again i'll leave them linked i'll leave things linked if i can find links but i love these as well i've got like a give blood ikea day game night early start just really nice so that is my sticker collection look at these ones from Catherine. catnip she has the cutest stickers because she does beautiful little designs okay so we're gonna get started <laughs> oh my gosh i'm nervous to show you my week um my brain I feel like it's so personal isn't it but um Oh, another thing is I'm really specific on pens that I like. I normally buy my pens from a company called Zebra and I really love their Smooth Z Grip pens. Actually, this one is pretty run out. There's another one here. This is just the Zebra Medium. These like biro -y pens are really nice. I love them. But the other day in WH Smith, I did actually buy one from a company called Pilot and I actually kept the packaging to show you. And this pen has a rubber on the end and you can rub out the ink, which I've never had before. Um, so yeah, very clever. So if I make any mistakes or things change, then I can use that. And this actually came with some ink as well so I can refill it, which is great. So I'm hoping this will last me a while instead of buying loads and loads of pens all the time. Okay, right, let's um, show you my planner. Let's turn this on and flip you over. All right, I'm hoping you can see this. I'm gonna move my keyboard and mouse. I get a lot of questions about these. I bought these from Amazon. I absolutely love them. And they just feel so nice to type with. So yes, well, the keyboard's nice to type with and the mouse is lovely. So I've been using those. This is my planner. So it's white with gold bees on it. I have already shown the planner in detail on IGTV, so I'm not gonna go into any more detail, but let's flip to the week we're working with. And I have got one of these little matching magnetic page markers in. But I'm going to take that out. We'll put that back in last. Move that out of the way. I'm hoping you can see this okay. So you can see the only thing I actually have in my diary right now is the podcast launch, Monday the 4th. And I'm really excited about it. So we're going to fill the week up. So I'm going to bring up my iCal calendar first. And then I think I'm going to put in when I'm doing workouts because I'm planning on doing four HIIT workouts this week, which sounds quite a lot, but um, I'm really trying to get back into it beginning of the year. And also I can't go to the gym right now as we're currently in lockdown. In one of these, I have a sort of fit, oh, here you go, fitness stickers. So let's start with my personal life and then we'll do work stuff. Oh, they do actually have some that say workout. So maybe we'll just use those, but actually I quite like as well these little ones, these little circles, but I think I'll use those workout words. Um, I don't care about any of this. It's just, I'm doing hit workouts. So let's put the days I'm doing a workout. So I've already put it in my diary. So I know Monday is a workout. So we'll put that at the beginning because I'm going to hopefully do the workouts um, in the morning. So we'll do one there. So it's Monday, Wednesday. Now I'm not going to set a time because you know, things change when it comes to my exercise, but that's what the plan is anyway. So there am I working out. Anything else personal wise, I do have a Zoom call on Wednesday morning, but I don't want to share what it's for. I do also have something we're doing for a friend. It's a surprise on Friday. So I'm just gonna pop those in. They're not gonna make sense to you, um, but this one is at 9.30 a.m. And I'll write what that is for after this video. And then here, I'm doing something for a friend at 11 so 11 a.m and again i'll write what that's for after it's just because she'll watch this video so don't want to ruin it okay 
So they're personal things. What else is going on? We have a weird bin day, bin scenario. Um, because of the new year going on, um, they've changed the bins. So this is very boring, but I do have some bin stickers, I think. So they've got these like Pebble & Co have these big ones and then little tiny ones. And the big ones worked great in my old planner when I was having a day, but I think these tiny ones are better for, the, for this one. So we're gonna do the bin day. So we've got a bin recycling day on Monday. So I'm gonna use purple for recycling. It matches the podcast one I've already put in there. And then we also weirdly have a bin day on Saturday, which is not normal for us, but I need to remember that. So let's put that in next to the day. So I think that's most of my personal life stuff. Obviously we're in lockdown, so I don't have any other appointments going on. Oh, I do actually potentially have another Zoom that's a personal thing on Friday evening, but I'm waiting to hear from that, so we won't put that in just yet. I want to schedule in when I have brand work coming up. So I would have already had one on Sunday, the third, and then my next one will be on Sunday the 10th. So we're gonna pop this little schedule icon in, into here. And I'm working with one of my favorite brand partners called Readly. So let's pop that in, Readly Add. I know that needs to go up on Sunday. Um, I also, work-wise, need to put in the videos I'm gonna upload. So let's do that next. I have a YouTube thing, again, as a Pebble & Co. You can tell I quite like their stickers at the moment. So we're gonna have, I've actually moved my week around already and I'm gonna upload this video. You're seeing it hopefully on Thursday the 7th. There we go, careful. Okay, so I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put this here. Plan with me. And then I also filmed a an update, like a chatty car update, which hopefully you've already seen as well, but that I'm planning on uploading on Tuesday because the podcast will go up on Monday and I want to be around for it. So let's put that in there. I haven't quite given it a name yet, but it's sort of like a car catch up. Just before we carry on, I just spotted um, invoice stickers and I have a few invoices due. Uh, so I'm gonna sticker two invoices due. Now, when I finish filming this, I will write the amount that they're for, but for the sake of privacy, um, this one is Big Potato Games. And this one is from the work I did with Vision Direct. They, they're both those um, brands won't need chasing really, but I'll just check them in my account and then I will sort of schedule in time in the day to like, move money aside for savings, for tax purposes or whatever. So that's cool. Um, right now, this day on Tuesday is actually um, a really big consultancy day. Um, so I'm actually gonna block out the whole day. I'm working with Laura, who is my coach. She, or consultant or whatever you wanna call her. Now I don't have specific stickers for her yet maybe we can go back to these schedule ones um, because it's kind of like this little clock it's an appointment oh it's not perfect but you get the gist so Laura day now I have the timings in my calendar so we're taking like a break we're doing stuff in the morning stuff in the afternoon but I just need to know that that whole day is blocked for that so I need to consider when this vlog goes up because um, I'll be with her until like four or five o'clock. So I might end up putting that up after. So I'm around for it. What else is happening? So we've got, so let's look at Monday. We've got a workout, we've got the podcast launch. I also need to film for Readly um, and send it across for approval because the deadline, so it's going up on the Sunday, but the deadline is Tuesday. So I need to film and send it this day realistically. So film Readly. Um, and then I edit Readly and then I'll send it. So they're all sort of separate tasks, but we'll put them as two like that. And then 
this day is the consultancy day and the vlog wednesday i've got an appointment in the morning and a workout thursday i've got that video and that invoice due friday i've got my workout an invoice a personal thing and then a potentially another personal thing and then saturday i have nothing in apart from the bins <laughs> and then sunday workout uh story and oh i have um, a master class thing i don't know what, what time that is i just know it's in that day so um it's a, a program called the financial diet i think it's called um i don't know what time it is but i'm going to put it in here it's a master class i'm doing sort of like a 30 day thing in january so we'll put that in there and then i'll put the time in so that is sort of how that week is looking. Now we're gonna go over to Notion and I'm gonna put in, so in my brain dump that I've got on my computer of my to-dos, I'm gonna put them in here. So film and send Readly is in here. And I would have worked with Popsa the day before and so I need to send them some insights or at least save them. Insights are sort of the analytics when you work with a brand, they sort of like to see all the, um, how many likes, how many, comments all that sort of stuff um so we'll save those for popsa and i will also on a day that i'm a bit quieter i want to do a little bit of outreach to some brands just to say happy new year i want to update my media kit um and that sort of stuff so i'll probably put this in here so update my media kit so it says 2021 put the new sort of stats and stuff and then i will do some outreach to the brands and I what I'll do is in my call with Laura on the Tuesday I will get a list of brands that we're going to speak to so I'll do that on the Wednesday um I need to do invoice reminders just in case those brands had forgotten as it is a new year so we'll put invoice reminders in there um Bianca and I will be recording another podcast episode but we haven't planned out when that'll be um, so I'll pop that in another time. Haven't decided that yet. I'll also need to pay Laura from the day before. So we'll put that in here. She will probably invoice me this day and I'll pay her on the same day. Um, what else is happening? There are things that I do every day, like walk Bonnie and I do a journal every day. And like, there are some things that just are part of my routine that I don't need in my diary. Um, but this is looking quite nice. Like I can really see my week and how it's looking. I also have these stickers that I'm gonna use, which is laundry day and change the bedding. So. I need to do a wash. I'll probably do one tomorrow and it'll probably come out of, the, I'll do a wash and then I'll take it out of the tumble dryer, but I'll check on it on Monday. So we'll see where we're at. So bin day and laundry day on Monday. And then I change the bedding once a week. Now I normally do it at the same time and days, but because of the way things have been, I've been changing the bedding. So I can't remember, when did I last change it? New Year's day, I think. I put fresh bedding on on New Year's day, which was the first on a Friday. So let's change the bedding again a week later for the weekend. Um, where should we put this? I would have liked it there, but we'll put it here because it's sort of a home to do. It's not the neatest in the world, but it doesn't matter. I will need to go and do a food shop and I can use the little shopping cart stickers for that. This was just out of a book, a random book that I had. But I don't know what day that'll be yet. I don't need any of these travel ones. Um, these ones are quite nice. You can do it, positive vibes. I like that. I like to be able to look at my diary and it just be like super pretty, you know? These are nice ones. Again, I got these from TK Maxx. This brand, love them. I think they're American because there's lots of like American references, but there's like doctor's appointments, hair appointment, eye appointment, birthdays, uh, summer, autumn, winter, Valentine's. Oh, that one says January 1st. I'm gonna take that and put that in. I think that's pretty much everything I can show you for now. I will also put in recording the podcast with Bianca. I need to order Bonnie some more food. I need to do a food shop. So as the week goes on, I'll sort of plot those things in. Um, but for now, I've got a really good, vision of what the week will look like 
and I'm pleased with it. I obviously need to add in the things I don't want to share with you, but yeah, I think this is good. So there we go. So that is my plan with me for the week. Hopefully you enjoyed seeing that and how I get on. Um, obviously it's just a lot of stickers most of the time. <laughs> I just have so many, but yeah, let me know your tips for how you plan, what you thought of this. If you enjoyed it, I can do more of them. Maybe I can do one a month or something. You can see what I'm getting up to and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. So have a good rest of your day and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.